Well, this is the unboxing of the newest uh, DM9000S by Dynasty Mattress. Uh, when I was buying this adjustable base, unfortunately, I couldn't find any uh, good videos on the actual unboxing and the process. So hopefully this is going to be useful. This is how um, it came. As you saw in the first images, it was not delivered uh, directly to the door. So I had to basically bring it up. Uh, that was a lot of trouble. Um, I will make some more comments on the, at the end about that. Um, this is what you see once you open the first one. This is from a Twin XL. I, I have a, a Split King, so I got two of these bases. Um, this is, you know, the parts are you know all there. Pretty much everything is plugged in for you. You just have to plug in the Bluetooth um, receiver for the speakers and the power cord. Um, I'm showing there the speakers and the cables um, each base has um, two speakers and a subwoofer you um, trying to show there the basics and the essential of the uh, four different motors or actuators that it has because this one has a pillow recliner it has a back recliner it has the um, lumbar support um, it has the legs um, everything is there by Oaken, which is the brand that makes the actuators and also the control set. There's a close-up of that. So each uh, one comes with four different legs, um, one remote, um, it comes with of course the two uh, power adapters for the Bluetooth um, audio receiver and for the actual bed. Uh, it has that cable which is to connect the two bases in case you want them to move simultaneously or synchronized. Um, the remote is different from the remote that I saw on the web page and other videos. Uh, this one doesn't have the um, the flashlight, and you know the the design is uh, I think not as good as the other one, but it's also no not that bad. You get used to that uh, pretty easily. That uh, adapter there for the AC, which I just put on the floor, it has space for two uh, nine volt batteries, the squared ones. The, um, in case there's any power outage, you can move your bed. This is a close-up there to the remote. Um, and again, that um, DC power converter or adapter. The legs, as you can see, they screw on. It's pretty easy to do that. You can adjust the height. You don't have to screw different pieces like other adjustable beds. You just basically um, can choose how high you want them to be and you screw them in um, with no much difficulty. That process was relatively straightforward. Once you've put on the four legs, then you just turn it to the side and basically you're ready to go. There you have the, the the mattress support piece on the legs, which is missing. We'll put it on uh, later in the video, and you there see that part, which is the uh, lumbar support. Now uh, that's how it, it looks. That white part on the bottom half of the um, base is like a Velcro. It, they call it like a the micro hooking. Uh, technology which basically helps your mattress stay in place since the base of course is going to move and that might you know create some problems I, I think it's pretty effective but it's just like a fancy name for for uh, for velcro you see there that I'm, I'm just showing a little bit of the functions there's the pillow tilt um, I'll show other functions this by the way is it has wall hugging technology 
so when you are reclining the back um, it is going to stay closer to the wall uh, so when you're going to pick up things from your nightstand it's not going to get that far um, which I think it, it does help a little bit it's not going to you know completely solve that issue because you still have to put your nightstand a little bit forward there you see the the lumbar support which i think is one of the best features of this uh adjustable basis it is excellent especially if you have lower back problems that feels super nice when you're watching tv or you know when you're doing things on your bed i don't use it much for sleep because i'm a side sleeper so that lumbar support is not as comfortable but i guess that's also you know arguably a, a, a personal opinion so you will decide for yourself it does have a pretty wide uh, angle of inclination I think it it goes as high as 60 degrees if I'm not mistaken um, which is you know pretty much more than what you'll need i mean i barely ever use it with full inclination maybe for watching tv but i usually don't go as high and just put the the um, head recliner or the neck recliner or pillow recliner a little bit so that gives me that extra uh, angle that i'm needing uh, but i'm just showing there the maximum inclination that it can um, go to and then the 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 wall hugging as you can see basically the bed slides up when that back is reclined which i think is a very good feature if you can see all of the base is um, very well you know upholstered upholstered um it looks nice even if you don't put a bed frame and only a um a head board um i think it looks nice uh, it has two pockets one on each side so you could put the remote controller and two usb ports on each side in my case since i'm using this as a split king uh well one of them would be useless because it is against the other one and it they they have a light uh that you can control through the remote or uh bluetooth um app well so you know for whenever you wake up at night and you want to go to the restroom or something like that it will help you uh, it doesn't look that bright because uh, the lights were on, but it it is actually good enough at night. Um, there is the lumbar support, uh, so you can see how it you know comes out uh, in and out. Um, you see there in the center, that's one of the massage um, motors. It does have a pretty good vibration. It has three different intensities, um, and I think three. Um, types of massage uh, it's you know pretty good although if you live in an apartment or a condo like in my case it's probably going to be noisy for the neighbors uh, there is the only two connections that you'll make that's the power for the bluetooth and the speakers you just take the adapter and that one connection and then the connection for the power is um you know in the middle section near the control uh, I'll show that in a minute. So I'm showing there that the power is go is for the Bluetooth receiver and then the speakers, which are one at each side. Um, and there, right next to the controller, is that cable that, as you can see, is you know pretty much ready to be just plugged in. Um, you'll see you take the adapter um, and you connect it um, there. Um, it's already connected, but I just wanted to show the different plugs uh, that this controller has for the USB, for the light, to synchronize the beds in case you want to do that. I highly suggest that if you're buying two and you're going to synchronize them, you go ahead and do that at this time before you flip the bed because it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So go ahead and connect that and then you'll just have to connect it to the other bed there with it, where it says sync. I'm doing everything with one hand. I apologize. This is certainly not a professional video. I'm not a YouTuber or anything like that. I just wanted to share that because I didn't find a lot of videos showing the bed in, in more detail and the, the unboxing. Um, but, but if you have both of your hands, uh, you can certainly do this much quicker than I did here. And of course, 
Uh, I went out of the frame for a couple of times. My apologies, I guess, for that. But it is really easy when you have both of your hands free. So you just have to, you know, plug one end to the other and then that little safety feature, which I think is very good. So it prevents that from, you know, unplugging. Okay, so that adapter goes to just a regular um, power um, uh, to the outlet. Then those are the two beds, one next to the other. Like I said, that's for a split king. Uh, they already have the, the mattress supporter there um, at the end and they work pretty good. I really like, I, it's something that I would suggest. The only problem is unfortunately Dynasty mattress has a very bad customer service. Uh, it's very difficult to track your orders. I actually ordered uh, a set of four and the first two came by Pilot. Uh, that's the company that, that sent them. The other two, this ones came from FedEx and it was very different um, one from the other. The, the one that came through Pilot, that one arrived within, I'm going to say three or four business days. They brought it up to my condo. I didn't pay for the white glove delivery um, and they brought it up here and I did everything. This one came from FedEx. It took uh, 14 business days. So it was around a month or over that. Um, they didn't bring it up. I live on a seventh floor. So I had to basically find tools and it was a hustle. Uh, a hassle to to bring those two uh, bases they're very very heavy this is something that will require at least two people and maybe even three uh, to carry them um, and the assembly well two would be the the most comfortable way to do that uh, and the customer service is not very good they don't answer the phone very often they do answer by email but not that quickly they take you know two or three days i still haven't been able to solve some of the problems uh, that i have with two mattresses but i guess that is a different story so i do suggest the products but you have to be mindful that the customer service is not going to be the best hopefully that video or this video was helpful uh, and yeah, let me know in, if there's any questions that you have and I'll try to answer those in the comments.